Oh, it was just around the corner on the island of Zuma, and all of the engines were getting ready. They were all finish up, finishing up their last trains of the day so they'd be able to go to the Halloween party. The engines were about to start the Halloween, were about to start telling Halloween stories. Edward's going to go first. Have I ever told you guys about the story about the missing engine? The missing engine? No, said Henry. Yes. Have I ever told you? Oh, uh, uh, no. Squirt Percy. All right. I guess I'll begin then. Time ago on a little railway, there was a little engine named Brio, who worked on a small railway in London. They, the little engine was assigned to take some trucks to an old abandoned quarry. The railway suffered financial issues, and so they couldn't afford people, workers, and so the little engine went to the wrong line. An abandoned quarry, but he didn't know. Trucks pushed the little engine, he went through Accident. A broken hopper car blocked the way. The engine crashed into the trucks were swept by away by the current and never seen again. On the date of the accident, the engine roams the rails again, trying to find other engines to bring into the sea. Uh, Edward, what day uh, was um was the engine's accident? Why it was October thirty first, Percy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me on Halloween! Ha, what's a wrong, Percy? You afraid of Eggos? No, I'm not, James. Percy, come on. Everyone can tell that you are. Right, guys? Yeah, Percy, hate to admit it, but yeah, you do sound scared. Thomas! I'm sorry, you're too much of a woman. Oh, I don't care. Let's just try to get some sleep. Yeah, guys, let's, let's just go to sleep. The fat controller right? Percy and James, I'm going to need you two to go around to the docks and go collect some twisted metal pieces of scrap and send them to the scrapyard. What? Squealed Percy. This will prove that you are afraid of ghosts, said James. Shut up, Percy. Shut up, James. Oh my God, he sounded like a child. No, no, James. You two better be off. Yes, sir, said Percy. But he was extremely scared. Soon, Percy and James arrived to collect their trains. Cranky, Carly, and Big Mickey were there. Because they're cranked and they're always stuck. Well, it's all yours, guys. Go nuts, bring it to the scrapyard, and I don't really care. Oh, how exciting! Halloween! I've never had a Halloween. What is it? I, I, I can't even tell you you're that stupid. <gasps> hey, Big Mickey! Oh, I'm kind of busy. Okay, Big Mickey. Yeah, I guess, I guess we should be. Have fun, you two! Oh, they're not going to have fun at all. Percy, relax. It was, it was just me. Ah! Hey, Percy, stop. It was just me. Oh, spooky thing! So fast that his truck's tit managed to stay on the line. It was just derailed and he was stranded. No, wait, Percy! Percy, come back! Percy! Percy! No! Percy. Oh, oh, oh! Sir James, the monsters are after me! Oh, no, I'm stuck here, aren't I? And unfortunately, James was. Was it all? I, I, I saw a ghost, Edward. Don't be silly, Percy. Was it the engine? I but yeah, Percy. I only made up that story. Yeah, but then there was this weird sound, and then um, well, uh, there was this weird like caboose-like thing, and then um, uh, yeah. Where's James? I don't know where James is. I, I left it. Oh no. Calm, Percy. I bet James is going to the scrapyard right now. <laughs> You're better be right because he's not a quote-unquote scaredy engine. No, calm down, Percy. I guess we're stuck here till the morning. What's it? Huh? Oh, the, 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 the lost engine? 